Hi Pisces and welcome to your Pisces full moon tarot reading. This is for Pisces suns and Pisces moons. Okay, the Pisces full moon is on September 14th. So this tarot reading is for September 14th through October 14th, Pisces. And Pisces is the 12th house. So major, major completion taking place for you guys, suns and moons. Um, and rising, okay? I didn't throw that in there. Sun, moon, and rising, Pisces. This is a big time for you. Highly transformational big, big completion of some cycle, some lesson that you have been working on taking place as well as a magnificent manifestation that follows that Pisces. So we are going to pull a card here to see which area of your life um, this is most likely to take place or impact. Okay, so you guys have a house card, which is um, something taking place more externally to you. Ooh, you've got the fifth house, Pisces. Very nice. This is actually uh, very vast for you guys. Some of you, this is about romance, okay? Like falling in love or falling in love again like the first time if you've been together for a while because so much passion and, uh, you know, lust and, like, all those, like, feelings of when you first falling for somebody are involved with this fifth house energy. So, Pisces, some of you, it's like you're falling in love or um, for the first time with somebody or you're falling in love again like it's the first time. Others of you, um, you, your creativity for your passions, your natural abilities and talents, um, is going to skyrocket and you've been kind of held back and not been able to really push forward and pursue things to the degree in which you had hoped but now um, you're completing that learning cycle which was shaping you and growing you and giving you different experiences which may have seemed completely unrelated to your um, talent or ability or skill but they are related and you're completing that. So it's time for you to explode. If you're an artist, it's time for people to know your work. Um, if you're a singer, people need to hear your voice. If you are a chef, it is time for everybody to know who you are and you to own your own restaurant, okay? Um, it's just like big deal Pisces, all right? Whatever this is, romantic or some sort of natural ability talent and it's like the pursuit of it and finally like it taking off for you Pisces. So let's pull some tarot dice. Okay, so look at this Pisces where you were sad, where you were rejected, where you were experiencing lack, where you were being looked over, where you were giving it a thousand and twenty five percent and it was like just not no matter what like not happening um, Pisces that energy is changing because look at this um, seven of cups with the two of swords so Pisces, these are crappy, crappy dice, and I love to see that this is what you're overcoming because those are not fun dice, man. That's like you can't win for trying. You keep getting your heart broke. Um, you try and try and try. Nobody cares about your work. People telling you you don't have what it takes. You're not special. You're not this. You're not that. Or you're telling yourself that because you just haven't made more progress up to this point as you had hoped. And now, Pisces, all of that's changing. The restriction and um, experiences you've been going through around romance or your creative uh, ability, talent, skills, um, seriously, you were being reshaped for what you're about to step into and you're walking away from sadness, rejection, not having enough money, not being noticed, um, feeling like you just fantasize and it's never going to come into fruition. You're walking away from that. You've completed that cycle and now it's time for the reward, Pisces. So let's pull some um, more tarot, but through it, tarot cards. 
It is time for the world to know your name, Pisces, because fifth house is Leo. Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun is being in the spotlight, being on the stage, center stage, you know, the main dish of the show. Like, it's you, Pisces. First out is the Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that. That is just a perfect uh, depiction of all those dice up there. Feeling screwed over, stabbed in the back, nobody cares, nobody's ever going to see your work, you know, etc., etc., etc. Next out, oh my gosh, Pisces, Ten of Wands. It's been a long journey. It has been a long journey, but you want to know what I love is seeing two tens. A big, big, strong confirmation that this crap is, is over with. It is time for a much better experience, Pisces. Next out, look at that. Seven of Cups again. Yeah, this here, Pisces, is you feeling like you are just spinning your wheels. Screw the universe. Screw the law of attraction. It's all BS. It doesn't work. It doesn't matter. No matter what I do, what I think, what I feel, how I try, the way I go about something, like it just does not matter. Like I feel that's where you were feeling and that's your vibe. And now Pisces, that's changing. It started feeling intense like that because you're coming to the very end of this experience of this cycle. And I'm telling you, the restriction, the um, intensity, being overlooked, feeling like you can only dream and scheme and never really make it anything into reality. <laughs> like Pisces, that you are done with that. That was just growing you and shaping you for what's about to unfold in your life. And look at there is seven of wands. Next out is the Six of Wands, and we love to see that. At Pisces, whatever you're stepping into, the way you're being noticed, honored, recognized, rewarded, coming through Six of Wands and through that fifth house, it is like brand new, and there's a lot more to this shift and change. You are in fetus stage, and you are going to grow so much through this next phase of this journey. Okay, and last out, yeah, look at that, the sacred clown, which would be the fool. Mm-hmm. Pisces, stuff is about to shift for you, okay? And you're going to be noticed, um, you're going to be rewarded, you know, however that's playing out. And the way this shifts and changes for you is putting you into um, energy that feels completely brand new, like a whole new experience, a whole new world for you, Pisces, and there's a lot of journey on this next step up ahead, okay? So you're completing some really heavy stuff, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, make you wiser, grow a thicker skin, really make you tough and strong emotionally and mentally because up ahead, it's like everybody knows your name or wants your product or um, you are in a position of power in the workplace. Um, you know, there's just something about your creative talents, abilities, skills, you know, whatever, and you're highly sought after or you're put in a position of power and you've been trying for this, but again, feeling like you're just spinning your wheels, it's never ever going to happen. You can dream and that's all that's ever going to be is like a bunch of dreams, but no nope, Pisces. Things are about to shift. Things are about to change for you guys. So this is really good. Okay, so let's pull a couple more cards. All right, intention, the wand. Yes, your intentions that you've been putting out to the universe uh, coming from within, Pisces, they're going to manifest. Um, you were held back from them because you were learning and growing some pretty heavy lessons, which prepares you for this manifestation, okay? And look at this moon, uh, cycles. This is the full moon uh, tarot reading we are doing, Pisces. It's like, I feel that is talking about from last Pisces full moon in August to this Pisces full moon hugely transformational time for you if you like think of back on the whole year and going from this Pisces full moon all the way to next August Pisces full moon again it's going to be very very transformational a lot is going to happen but it's like you're finally got your foot in the door a step up 
people know who you are, people want your product, they want you, they want your time, your expertise, whatever. Like Pisces, it's going from being a nobody into like a huge somebody overnight that quick and you're like, whoa! But again, you went through all this heavy stuff because of the rapid success that's going to just kind of drop in your lap, okay? And this rapid success is the next step on your journey. And by next August, I'm telling you, there's a whole nother thing shifting and changing. Um, and it's like, for you guys, it's like a, a mini completion in a much larger cycle with this Pisces full moon. Um, for others, I for most of the other signs, I felt like it was a big time completion. Um, in their life journey, but Pisces for you guys, it's like this smaller completion and a much larger cycle, but it's, you, you're not unhappy here, okay? Um, the next step is to prepare you and grow you um, for even more success, becoming a total expert in some area or field, okay? Pisces, wow, quite powerful reading here for you guys. So let's pull a couple more cards. And you know what? Now it's come to think of it, Leo actually had a pretty powerful reading too. Pisces, so if you have heavy Leo in your chart or you're a Leo moon or rising, highly recommend you check out Leo's reading or, um, you know, if on any level this involves a Leo just because... Um, that, I don't know, that just jumped out at me. I wasn't even thinking about that, but Spirit brought it up. So, ooh, Pisces, yes, the horseshoe. Finally feeling lucky. Finally feeling like things are going your way. Cartwheel, it's time for all of that. But not only that, Pisces, this um, shift, this mini completion, this elevation is just the next step on this much larger cycle that you're working on very much iterated with those two cards but it's not like bad heavy stuff we don't want to be dealing with no this is happy stuff that we're excited is finally happening in our life oh okay and now we've got two cards that jumped out gratitude universe loves to shine through the miracles of life all around you yes yes Pisces you are gonna know that for sure especially with that horseshoe there and stillness reflect on this moment with love kindness and compassion this right here is where you're gonna look back to last August and realize how much you have shifted and grown and I've been saying August haven't I I've meant September Pisces oh my god and Leo is August um, so man a Pisces I'm sorry about that I mean September to September I wasn't even catching that and then just now um, I really do feel like some of you, this has to do with the Leo, um, Leo energy, the time when the sun is in Leo, maybe even Leo full moon, which will be in, um, you know, when the sun is in Aquarius, so like February of 2020, all right, but there is definitely a Leo connection somehow, some way for you guys, and so what I mean is looking back from this September to the previous September Pisces and then you know as we roll through the year and go into 2020 in September of 2020 looking back to this September and being like wow so much has changed and you will realize the periods of stillness of spinning your wheels of not being noticed not being recognized like no matter what it had great great purpose and you have a lot of gratitude in your heart for it because it's just the way things are lining up for you and happening, you really choose that you would never want it to be any other way than the way that it is unfolding. And you recognize that every step prior you had to go through to get it to work out this way. And you're very, very happy for that Pisces. And there's only more growth and success to come from here. All right. So you guys have a fantastic reading. Again, a very strong Leo connection to this Pisces reading. So if that resonates for you, check out Leo's reading. Otherwise, Pisces, y'all on, on fire. Um, you're being noticed. You're in the spotlight. And there is a lot of success to come for you guys over the next year as well, okay? So those are your messages, Pisces. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.